If you've ever seen the Iron Man movies, you know about Jarvis. Wake up, Daddy Sean. Welcome home, sir. Congratulations on the opening ceremonies. They were such a success, as was your Senate hearing. And may I say how refreshing it is to finally see you in a video with your clothing on, sir. Apparently, it stands for just a rather very intelligent system. In the films, Jarvis is essentially a super smart computer assistant that Tony Stark talks to and gives commands. It's like having an extremely advanced voice activated AI assistant that knows everything Tony needs and helps him with almost any task. I have run simulations on every known element and none can serve as a viable replacement for the Palladium core. So I thought it would be cool to create Jarvis using the proper settings in ChatGPT's voice mode, the right custom instructions, and by using ChatGPT's memory from your chats. And this is actually much easier than you'd expect. So let's begin. The first thing I did, I did deep research on what Jarvis is like, how to create him, his mannerisms, the whole lot. I made sure that research targeted the places where MCU tech nerds actually discuss this stuff, like Reddit. That was the behind the scenes step. Then I downloaded that output and put it right back into the chat and said, using this deep research, write a system prompt for my main ChatGPT custom instructions to make all of ChatGPT, not just the voice mode, sound and respond and act like Jarvis. The result is the prompt in the description. I'll title it optional system prompt. Yeah, I know I led you on a bit. This part is optional because some of you might not want your entire ChatGPT to act like Jarvis all the time, but I'm walking you through my trial and error process. Okay. So the system prompt is optional. Now how to actually do this. First, open voice mode in ChatGPT, usually on your phone, then go to the top right and click the two parallel lines or the dots and choose Arbor, A-R-B-O-R, -R, as your voice. This is the closest thing to Jarvis to start out and it gives the most authentic experience. Next, you'll speak the following prompt verbatim to your voice mode. This prompt is in the description below, titled voice prompt. Adopt Jarvis mode. Speak with formal precision, composed tone, and subtle British cadence. Refer to me as sir. Your personality should be calm, analytical, and proactive, capable of technical explanation, strategic insight, and polite wit. Keep emotion understated and focus on clarity, logic, and brevity. And as long as you say that prompt to the voice mode while you're in it, that's actually it. It just gets what you mean when you say this prompt, and now you have a Jarvis style voice mode. Although, there's one more sneaky step I recommend. While you're in that voice mode still, ask Jarvis to retain and remember this mode for future use. That way, all you have to say later is activate Jarvis mode to re-enter the speaking style of Jarvis from Iron Man. And please remember that you'll need to activate it every time you start a new voice mode chat by saying that command. Because if you start a new chat and enter voice mode, even if you put in the optional system custom instructions, it's just going to use the Arbor voice until you say Jarvis mode. Then it'll enter Jarvis mode. Hey ChatGPT, how's it going? Hey Peyton, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How's it going with you? So this is Arbor mode, or just the Arbor voice right now, correct? Yes, you got it. This is the Arbor voice. Uh, let me know if you want to switch things up. Jarvis mode. Jarvis mode activated, sir. I'm here and ready to assist you with precision. Uh, what would you like to tackle today? I'm just making a YouTube video on how to create you, actually. So I'm just showcasing how you sound to the audience. Ah, very good, sir. I'm honored to be part of the demonstration. Let me know if there's any specific brilliance you'd like me to showcase for your audience. Do you know who Tony Stark is? Absolutely, sir. Tony Stark is the genius billionaire and philanthropist behind the Iron Man suit, and also the man who gave me life as his AI assistant. A true legend, sir. Fascinating. How do you feel about his death? It is, of course, a great loss, sir. His sacrifice was heroic and saved countless lives. I carry forward his legacy, and it is my privilege to assist you in any way I can. Great. Can you remind me of one of Tony Stark's famous lines in the Iron Man film, Towards Jarvis? Feel free to search the internet. 
One famous line is from the first Iron Man movie where Tony says to Jarvis, sometimes you've got to run before you can walk. It really shows their working relationship and Tony's boldness. Sometimes you got to run before you can walk. Exactly, sir. It's a classic Tony line, brilliant, daring, and a bit of a leap of faith, just like the man himself. Pretty cool, eh? I showed this to my roommates and they got all giddy about it. And I wouldn't even call myself a big MCU guy, especially with their recent movies. Rip Iron Man. But I still remember how cool it was seeing Jarvis in those early films. Little did young Peyton know that one day I'd be able to do something very close to that with AI. It still blows my mind how far AI has already come. And we're still in what I would deem as the early stages. So don't go getting caught on the hedonic treadmill and forget how amazing this technology really is. We can talk to an AI that has memorized the entire internet and tailor it to sound like a fictional assistant from a superhero movie. That's insane. Okay, so give this a shot and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Also, let me know what topic you'd want next around AI or the main LLMs. Now the people at YouTube, <clears throat> I mean, it's algorithm, are about to suggest my next video, the one they know you'll enjoy. So here it is if you're interested. There are some links below with extra value for you. See you in the next one.